Right, we actually want to solve this problem here, and we note that Mel is four years younger than Tanya. Twenty years ago, Tanya's age was 13 years, more than half the age of Mel. How old are they now? So, to solve this problem, we let X be Mel. Mel's age. Simultaneously, we note that Y is Tanya's age. Tanya's age, like so. Right, we proceed to solve this problem here. Mel is four years younger than Tanya, meaning uh, Mel's age is smaller, so that we will actually take Tanya's age minus Mel's age, and the difference is exactly four years. Okay, like so. Next, 20 years ago, Tanya's age was 13 years more than half the age of male. So we are comparing um, here, obviously, Tanya's age and um, male's age. Right, so we understand that 20 years ago, Tanya's age, which is Y, so it's 20 years ago, Tanya's age, right, was 13 years more than half the age of male. So we actually compare it with half the age of male 20 years ago, and the age of male is 20. So we add 13 here. Why do we add 13 here? Because we understand that 20 years ago, meaning we minus 20, Tanya's age was 13 years more, meaning if obviously this is an equation and Tanya's age was 13 years more, it means therefore to equate the two expressions here, we must add up 13 to the side that is 13 years less. And so that is uh, um, obviously the age of, um, of male 20 years ago. And we get this particular equation here. Now, what we're going to do is we can we proceed to simplify the equations as follows, and we note these, and we next say y minus 20 is equal to one half of x minus 20 plus 13, meaning y minus 20 equals one half x minus 10 plus 13. And this means y equals one half x. Minus 10 plus 13 is three. We add 20, we get 23, like so. Okay, so we remember the other equation. Okay, let's call this one equation two. Let's just call this one equation two. And we remember that we actually have another equation here. Let's give it uh, the name equation one. So equation one is y minus x equals four. So this y minus x equals 4. Let's call this one equation 1. Now we proceed to say put 2 into 1. And if we do, 
we get one half x plus 23 minus x equals 4. Write one half x minus x gives us minus one half x equals 4 minus 23 gives us minus 19. Solving for x multiplying by negative 2 both sides gives us exactly 38, like so. After having obtained 38, um, hence, we note that y is actually equal to 1 half x plus 23 is actually equation 2, which is 1 half x is 38 plus 23. And if you add these, you get exactly 42. Right, so we have x equals 38 and y equals 42. Thus, x equals 38 and y equals 42. Okay, what is the meaning of all these? We remember that x is Meryl's age and y is Tanya's age. Henceforth, henceforth, Mel, Mel is thirty-eight, thirty-eight years old. And Tanya is forty two years old. Okay, so because the question obviously was how old are they now? And we can see that. Clearly, Mel is 38 years old and, and Tanya is uh, 42 years old. And uh, that is how old they are now. And therefore, we are done solving this problem. Thanks, everybody, for your time and goodbye to you.